the money that you have left like how many more years can you live without working eternity and i choose rich every fucking time i realize that mate i have enough uh for my uh, living and i don't need to work anymore you discovered this at 37 yes but discovered after i have already left my job so i invested in 15 years fixed deposits uh, when interest rate was uh, 10% would you want to be immortal yeah why not matlab uh, i will to go one step forward yaar hey everyone welcome back to another episode of how did i become rich where we talk to people who basically become rich so that we may learn from them and try to incorporate their learnings into our lives on today's episode we have mr sandeep agarwal mr sandeep thank you so much for joining our show thanks for uh, letting me hear and and talk about my experiences he is one of those few people on this planet who has actually achieved fire which means financial independence and retired early if you don't believe me this guy has actually retired at the age of 37 maybe you can tell us what is your current financial situation maybe you could touch upon you know your net worth how you have invested that money and how is your life in general currently Oh I'm very very happy. Uh I think I should start with that um, uh the retirement or early retirement even though it was not completely planned uh but it has it has given me enormous amount of satisfaction. I can spend uh, time with my family, I can do what I want. As of today I have uh, substantially more than the fat fire Okay. Uh, threshold uh, it is more than uh, can you define that for the audience what do you uh, mean by fat uh, fire i uh, currently have a liquid net worth of uh, more than 50 times my annual expenses okay. and if i include uh, other uh, assets like house and stuff it will be more like uh, 75 times my annual expenses so today uh, if i have to ask you like the money that you have left like how many more years can you live without working eternity eternity yeah subject to uh, bank where i my fds don't go bust okay like lehman how have you invested your current money uh, i let's uh, say 100 rupees is your savings yeah. so i am very conservative investor 100 rupees is my saving as of today 85% is in debt 10% is in my fno capital and 5% in equities so what sort of returns is your money generating your savings so uh, because you said target, 85% my debt? target is uh, if i can generate on a post tax basis a uh, slightly more than the uh, inflation is my target so, so in currently inflation is 6% my target is 7% okay. though i am earning closer to 9% today but that is largely because i got a very right interest rate views uh, i invested in 15 years fixed deposits uh, when interest rate was uh, 10% this was uh, so when after the covid hit or even before before it? before like it's uh, in in 2000 uh, The 2010, 2012, 13. When interest rate was ten percent. Fixed deposit, interest rate was whatever they were. Fixed deposit rate was ten percent in oh. PSU banks in India. That was the reason why I never invested in equities. When I came back uh, to India, uh, I have a need to invest in equities because without hmm. that, I cannot achieve slightly higher than inflation hmm. on a post-tax basis. Because now inflation is six, seven percent. Actual inflation, which I Really feel in my expenses is slightly more than of course uh, what the, is the for numbers, the country. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, I need to invest in equities, otherwise I cannot beat inflation. So it is very important and and actually good that you ask this question for your audience who are looking this interview or podcast from their own financial planning for fire. Uh, it is very important to learn finance. Hmm. So. if somebody has already achieved why that i am lazy i want to be home they have achieved the fire 25 times their annual expenses if they don't know how to manage money they will face serious yeah. consequences very soon in their life where are you currently living because that's also very important right because being uh, you know retired in like a small town versus being retired in a big town are very two different things uh, when i retired i was uh, in in dubai and as quickly as i retired i moved to uh, bombay and i all did all my expense planning based on my expenses in bombay and uh, and one of my fallbacks was in case if my expenses are going overboard and my uh, my my uh, net worth is not supporting my expenses uh, i will rather than reducing my lifestyle hmm. uh, i will go to a smaller town uh, maintain the same amount of lifestyle so if i stay in a 4 bhk i will stay in a 4 bhk in a smaller town 
uh, where so currently where you so live. currently I stay in Pune. So now that you are kind of like a time billionaire, if I may yeah. put it that way, meaning you have so much time, yeah. and you are looking at the world where 99 percent of the world's time is not in their control; it's being controlled by the people who they work for. Yeah. How has your life perspective changed? Like, do you feel like, oh shit, this is what majority of the world is living, but they have no idea what this feels like? And I wish that more people can feel like how you feel. Reaching my lifestyle in terms of retiring early. is not because i was an exceptional student or an exceptional employee or uh, i made huge amount of money hmm. i am able to retire early is because i from from my mentality was able to get out of the game okay i was able to say stop you mean to uh, the rat race you yeah, get out of that game you can say a rat race a yeah. uh, no, very common word yeah so it is very important to understand if somebody wants to early retire it's not about financial independence it is so much about mentality because uh, you see uh, uh, when you have to do fire right we have to get at least 25 times our annual expenses as our liquid savings if my monthly lakh expense is 10 lakhs a year and if i have 2 and a half crores yes i am financially you, independent retire importance is not whether you get 2 and half crores importance is uh why you want to retire early what is your why my my why is i got bored out of working okay uh, <laughs> one i'm very lazy by nature uh, that's you dis- just describing all of us here <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, i i got extremely bored and and uh, i even before retirement i used to tell to my friends ki yaar bahut ho gaya bas What did you study? So I I am chartered accountant by uh, by education. So you gave CA, and one of the things in CA is when somebody tells you are a CA, people ask, okay, which which attempt? Yeah. So, so what is your so attempt? first attempt? Obviously, first attempt. And okay. I secured the uh, All India rank of twenty fifth uh, in my final exam. Two five. Uh, twenty five. Yeah. The campus interview, and then I uh, went into SBI Caps as my first job. Uh, what is that SBI? Cap- uh, SBA Capital Markets. It is the investment banking arm of uh, State Bank of India. Okay. Uh, uh, say early days, I I I think so. I I joined at ten thousand rupees per month, and uh, it which year like, was this? This was ninety eight, ninety eight. Then after that, what? So happened? very quickly, uh, from a year or so, I moved to City Bank. Okay. Uh, and uh, City Bank is a place where I will say my formative years of my career was there. Okay. Uh, Again, I, investment banking team. Huh? Uh, investment banking uh, in a treasury operations. Okay. But the the big thing was I I got exposed to to the real world. And uh, then what happened next? This I was moved, still in Mumbai. Yeah, I still in Mumbai. What happened and, after? And uh, so this was first three years of my in city in Mumbai. Then I moved uh, internally within. uh departments and i was uh, looking after financial institutions group which is dealing with other uh banks i did uh, for another 4 years and then i moved to dubai okay within city bank okay uh, there i moved as a, in the treasury sales role so i was uh, uh selling derivatives so you went to dubai how old were you that time 28 28 yeah 28. okay what happened after this that this i did uh, for one year in city and then i moved to bnp paribas Uh, in dubai itself where i did it for 8 this years. is a french bank right this is a french bank at a point of time so uh, you were only in banks your whole life all all that's why banks, you yeah. made so much money <laughs> yeah yeah because <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. you understand money so well <laughs> yeah. that is where my fire actually comes into picture because i was extremely lucky in bnp paribas i got huge amount of promotions i got huge amount of bonuses so because, what what year was this uh this was uh 2006 or 2007 so during the financial crisis during financial crisis so during the financial crisis how did bnp so paribas so you see in in financial crisis the risk of the prices going up and down increases the volatility increases so and your hence, business your part of the business was yes, doing very well it was very well got it yeah. got it everybody was coming to you hey, yeah this. because they had huge amount of risk that what will happen if the rates will go up what ah. will happen if the dollar price changes so sort of like the, you were also at the right place at the right time yes because your team was doing very well yes. so you got the promotions and the bonuses and all at that point of time i really uh, thought uh, me uh, let me do just be done with it I started calculating, then reading on fire, okay. uh, and really calculating uh, my numbers on my savings. Like reading, think, like on articles and yeah, stuff. Yeah, articles and understanding uh, experiences of other people who have done fire, and and then I realized that, mate, I have enough 
uh, for my uh, living and I don't need to work anymore. Okay. Uh, you discovered this at 37. Yes. But discovered after I have already left my job. So it was okay. not pre-planned. It, it mm. was kind of post-planned. And then? So, and then I, I came back to India uh, because all, I did all my planning based on this spends in Bombay. And, uh, and I didn't like the city okay. uh, very much on my second visit. So I, I was looking for to move to a smaller city. And uh, then I happened to go to Pune uh, for some friends uh, uh, function. Yeah. And I found it's a great city. Yeah, it is closer to Bombay. I still wanted my connection with Bombay because I know lots of people in Bombay. Right. Uh, so I shifted to Pune and I'm very happy because I shifted at half the rent, uh, twice the size of a house and mm. a bigger house was my extreme priority it's bombay yeah apart from traffic and pollution small houses was Brand was a bigger of pain course. point yeah cool. so now i just wanted to ask you like a philosophical question and this is something that i ask a lot of people um and almost everybody gives me the same answer is when i ask them how long do you want to live for right and the answer that i'm expecting most of the time is i don't want to die but most people surprisingly say you know 60 65 some people also say 55 and the reason being that they do not like going to work. Like life is too hard. I don't want to live that long. But if I were to ask you now that you have achieved financial independence, you're not having to go to work and the current state of life that you're in, would you want to be immortal? Yeah, why not? I uh, I will to go one step forward. Yeah. Uh, if I can manage my health, so I am fairly active physically. As I said, I cycle a lot. 100 I, kilometers I, a day, yeah, yeah. All that, but I still have a paunch. Huh. Uh, I am not uh, the kind of body weight which I want to be. Huh. Uh, but uh, if you give me immortality plus a six pack, huh. uh, bus, uh, I can for work it. for you free 10 years. I think the second one is achievable. <laughs> First one, let's wait. <laughs> All right, guys, on that note, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you guys learned something and I will see you in the next one.